getting quite as much no. snow as they are. So that's some no. good news as we head into the week. But it's cold. Cool. That was outside earlier. <laughs> it's freezing out there. Yeah. yeah I mean, is. what a change from this time last week when we were talking about possible record warm. Yeah. Yes. You know? yes. So we yeah. go from record warm to a week later, we're talking about potential snow. So weather is all over the place. Back to January standards here in the Delaware Valley as temperatures are still in the 30s, below freezing even at this hour. And the wind is up. We're taking a live look at Center City right now. You can see the flags and the banners there whipping in the wind. The wind cranked up yesterday, stayed up overnight, and it's still quite breezy out there. Look at the wind speeds out of the northwest anywhere from about 15 to 25 miles per hour. We have seen higher gusts. Temperatures started off in the 20s this morning and we're still in the 20s in Allentown and Trenton. 30 degrees in Philadelphia. It's 32 in Wilmington, 31 in Millville and 28 degrees still in Lancaster. When you factor in the wind with the air temperature, it feels a whole lot colder out there. So you will need to bundle up. Make sure you have on all the layers and you have the winter gear with you. It feels like 18 in the city feels like 22 in Wilmington and 21 down the shore. Now temperatures will only rise a few more degrees this afternoon and that's even under plenty of sunshine. 34 degrees for your high temperature, but it'll feel more like the 20s through the rest of the afternoon. Storm scan three showing things are quiet. Not much in the way of cloud cover. All that cloud cover to our south and west out ahead of this storm system taking shape across the center of the country, waiting on this piece of energy in the four corners area to push this in our direction and it'll get here as we head into tomorrow. So we're dry tomorrow morning temperatures in the 20s. It will be a cold start, but at least we don't have to worry about the wind tomorrow. Then it looks like the snow will start to move in around the middle of the day. Keep in mind initially it will be battling some dry air, so the radar may look like this tomorrow around the middle of the day, but not all of the snow may be reaching the ground initially. But once the atmosphere moistens up and it'll do so during the early afternoon hours, we're likely to see several hours of snow during the afternoon. It will start to accumulate with temperatures right around that freezing mark, if not even colder. And then as we take it into Saturday evening, notice what starts to happen. Warmer air pushes in from the south, so we'll see that snow change over to maybe a little bit of sleet before all rain. And it'll likely do that by 6, 7 o'clock in the city and point southward and temperatures will be rising as well well above freezing so any snow that fell prior to the changeover will start to melt and wash away with that rain however where the colder air holds on longer that's where the snow will continue to fall into tomorrow night before all this precipitation comes to an end now a winter weather advisory has been issued for the lehigh valley upper montgomery county upper bucks county and the poconos starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning lasting through around midnight or early Sunday morning and this is where that colder air will hang on. This is where we may not see the changeover and that's where snow totals will be highest at least in the Delaware Valley. So two to four inches will be possible for the Lehigh Valley and our northern and western suburbs one to two from Wilmington to Philadelphia and Trenton and less than an inch for South Jersey and for much of Delaware. So if you're going to be traveling tomorrow, this is what the road conditions are looking like, at least in the city and the immediate suburbs in the morning, cold but dry. So if you have to be out, do any of those errands in the morning during the afternoon, that's when the steady snow will be coming down. And then in the evening, that snow will be changing over to rain. So I think road conditions will actually improve for a good chunk of the area with the rain and temperatures above freezing. However, those road conditions could be a little bit worse across the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. Once we get past Saturday, quieter on Sunday, and then it gets even colder next week. Highs don't even make it to the freezing mark on Monday. All right, back to <laughs> regular yep, January weather. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Tiffany. Thanks, mm -hmm. Tim.